Uh, okay, so uh, before making this video, I sort of wrote down a definition of investment. Uh, so we've, we've talked about this. So go through this definition. It is important that you understand what this equation is telling us. Uh, so now let's do the final thing in this chapter, which is bringing it all together. So we've talked about consumption. We've talked about investment. And of course, we've talked about expectation. So we're going to do two things, OK? Uh, let's uh, so effect of expectation on consumption and investment. This is what we have done in this chapter. So of this effects, what are the similarities between consumption and investment? Uh, the similarities are that transitory changes uh, does not change consumption or investment too much. So let me give you guys an example for this. Uh, if you were to think about uh, consumption, uh, which depends on, let's say, lifetime income, uh, if there is a one-time rise in income, uh, let's say just for one month, for whatever reason, our income goes up. We are not going to change our consumption by a lot. I mean, okay, we've received 5,000 extra taka, but we won't necessarily then jump up and start consuming a higher amount because of expectation, because we're not only looking at one period, because we are looking in future over a number of periods, expectation means that we are aware that we know that income will go back to the original level very soon. As a result, C will not change too much. Uh, regarding investment, uh, let's think of uh, Eid in Bangladesh. When there is Eid, people spend a lot of money. Well, it also applies for uh, consumption. People receive Eid bonus. They, uh, so income goes up, but uh, even if income goes up by, let's say, 20%, consumption may not go up by 20%. It'll probably go up by less than that. But let's talk about investment. Uh, investment depends on what sells, right? Uh, how much we can sell, uh, which, which is what gives us profit. Uh, during Eid period, a lot of businesses make a lot of profit. Okay, so our sales have gone up. But do we also see a huge rise in investment during Eid? No, not really because businessmen are aware that this is just a transitory change. Uh, this is going to happen for one month or two months, but our profits are going to go back to the original level once again. This is not a permanent change. This is a transitory change. As a result, even though sales might go up, uh, we don't see an equivalent rise in investment. So this is the similarity that we see between consumption and investment when we introduce expectation, is that when there is a transitory change for a small period of time, consumers and businesses are aware because of expectation, they are aware that this is only a periodic change. And as a result, they do not increase or decrease consumption or investment by equal amount. That's the similarity. What differences have we found between the two? Well, we've seen two differences. Uh, first difference is that, well, actually, we don't need numbers here. So what we've seen is that uh, consumption, we've talked about this before, changes 
inelastically with income. We've talked about this in some details is that if my income increases by 100 taka, my consumption won't increase by 100, it will increase by less, maybe 90 taka or maybe 80 taka or something. However, for investment, what's going to happen is that investment may change, not necessarily, but may change elastically with uh, with what with sales. So what that means is that if there is a rise in sale, and of course we know if it's transitory change, nothing will happen, but if firms know that this is permanent change, that sales is going to stay at a higher level uh, for from now on in perpetuity. And suppose we know that our sales is going to be 100 taka more from now on into the future. The firm might invest, might buy a new machinery that is worth more than 100 taka. Maybe the firm buys a machine that is worth 300 taka. Why? Because as a result, this rise in 100 taka, this is going to be perpetual, right? We are going to keep getting this extra profit every single year. As a result, we can afford to buy an expensive machine, which may lead to the rise in profit to go from 100 to 150. So as a result, consumption changes inelastically, investment changes elastically. What is the implication of this? What is the implication of this? The implication is that, and this is important, I'll write it in red, red is that changes in investment are more volatile than changes in, uh, what was it, consumption effectively means that over time if there are changes in consumption there will be you know moderate minute increase or decrease in consumption by comparison of investment which may change by a large amount uh, in fact let me show you guys a diagram from the book that might help you understand better okay so this is directly lifted from the book and if you look at it, the blue curve, uh, so the timeline is from 1960 to 2014 in USA. The blue line shows the changes in consumption. And of course, you see that consumption has gone up, gone down over time. Uh, that is to be expected, but not by a lot, like two, three, four percent rise and fall. Not very volatile, but by contrast, if you look at the red line, uh, it's much more drastic. This shows the percentage change in investment, and this has changed a lot by 10%, 15%, 20%, even 30% in one instance in 2008. So this shows uh, what I said is that right here, a change in investment uh, tends to be over time much more volatile than change in consumption. So uh, that's it for this chapter. Let me sum up very quickly what we have done and then in the next video we can solve some problems. Uh, so we started off with consumption. This is what we knew in 207. Uh, then of course the question that we ask is what determines the value of C1? How do we make savings and consumption decisions? To answer that, we right here we answered that uh, the factors that uh, that 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 we use to determine our spending consumption or savings decision are uh, is basically how much wealth we have wealth comprises of human wealth and non-human wealth uh, so we started off with an example of 
our incomes and everything and we saw that how we might decide exactly how much money to spend uh, we talked about some issues with this problem that this is an over simplistic uh, model but it allows us to sort of get started get the argument off the ground and then we can add extra layers of complications to the model uh, so and then of course we talked about what are the implications of adding expectation to consumption and uh, they're over here you guys can go through them and we came to investment and once again this is what we knew about investment in 207 uh, then of course we wanted to add expectation uh, so this is what we did uh, we bought in present value we bought in expectation and we saw that how a firm might make an investment decision and the way to do that would be to calculate the present value of all expected profit all future expected profit and see whether or not that cost is higher than the initial investment cost and if it is then we make the investment if not we do not so i've defined present value of have i defined it yeah uh, and then uh, we've talked about why this equation is incomplete and the importance of adding current profit into the equation and that is what we have done over here and then i've given you guys an important definition of investment and then of course we try to bring it all together uh, basically in this chapter we try to look at the effect that expectation has on consumption and investment so based on our analysis we saw one similarity between cni and we saw a difference between cni and an implication of that difference is right here is that changes in investment tends to be a lot more volatile than changes in consumption uh, so that's it for this chapter in the next video let's solve some problems